everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing the reverse makeup challenge which you've probably seen on a lot of other youtube channels but it's basically what it says on the tin so it's your makeup routine but reversing it so i do like setting spray first and then so on so on so i've actually wrote the list of let's have a look. yeah I wrote a list of what I do in the right order and I'm gonna do it backwards see how it goes I'm just gonna get my products out so I can see what I'm doing I just thought this would be quite fun to do but also it's gonna look like weird so i think we're just gonna get started have a sip of water okay so obviously first we start off with setting spray because that's that's the last thing that we use so i'm using the morphe continuous setting mist i probably should have used the mac one because obviously the mac one is a prep spray as well so that could have gone quite well but okay so just on my face pretty simple i just love the smell of that and then next is i've got lipstick but i've got gloss as well so it's gonna be gloss oh so it's going to be gloss, then lipstick, then lip liner. Oh, I can't cope with this. I'm just using the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. These glosses are actually really pigmented, like you could just wear that on its own. Unfortunately, we've got to put lipstick and lip liner over the top. So, I think I'm just going to put the products I've used to the left. So, I know what I've used. So, now we've got the Vive lipstick in Vive. <laughs> oh, I don't want to ruin it. Okay, so, that's good going over the top to be honest it's not too bad because they're both nude but I'll just put a layer of gloss on it that's why I've just wiped it and now for lip liner I'm using MAC cork it does feel very moisturising <laughs> just lying on lips Not too bad, not a bad start. To be honest, I thought the lipstick over the gloss was going to be like really cringy, but to be honest, it just felt like really moisturising, like I was putting it on top of um, like a, a lip balm. So, next, I'm going to be using mascara. Oh, okay. So, I have actually had the roller lash in the benefit advent canada so i'm going to be using that and i'm just going to quickly oh no i can't do that can i i'm I, really i should apply this and then use the curler but it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna pull my eyelashes out i'm just gonna put mascara on without the curler i did um lift my eyelashes with the lifting kit but they're starting to go down now, so like they just look weird. Okay, so that's mascara done. I suppose this would be like good if you didn't want to put anything on your skin. Like you could just wear lips mascara and then you're done all a bit on your brows. 
it's kind of like a quick no makeup makeup tutorial but obviously we've got to go on to the next bits which are powder <laughs> oh so I usually do my face products first and then I apply powder so looks like powder is gonna be my face primer brilliant so I'm gonna go in with the peaches and cream PC3 brush and the what's it called now the Rimmel matte powder in transparent I'm just putting this all over my face this is very strange I suppose it is stopping my face from being oily <laughs> you probably could do this if you wasn't wearing makeup you could just like whack powder on your face to stop the shine making sure I'm putting enough on I usually put more under my eyes because I'm setting concealer I'm trying to do it like how I would do it in my actual routine so I would set more under there now we've got highlighter <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go in with the Vive Bijou highlighter and the Peach and Cream PC17 brush it does look very strange when you've got no like coverage or anything on your skin it's literally just highlighter do a bit up of my brows like that wow it look, does look very strange so this is what we're looking like very pale and shiny blusher is next so oh, I'm going in with the dandelion blush by benefit and I've realised this was in my advent calendar as well this smells so strong it's like really floral so <laughs> if you don't like scented makeup products I don't recommend this because this smells very strong and when you put it on your skin it's strong so I'm using the Zoeva I don't actually know what brush it is it's rubbed off but it's a highlight brush and I'll just swirl this on my cheek and bring it upwards I've literally never done this before like put all my powder products on without any like foundation or anything and I usually put a little bit on my nose I don't know what to make of this but so far it's not that bad I think it's the fact that I'm gonna have to put my foundation over the top of all of these this next bronzer obviously so I'm just using my trusty Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer and the PC4 brush just put this where I would usually put bronzer it's like this part isn't so bad but when it comes to putting my liquid products on it's going to be very strange it does look very like summery when you just don't put like foundation on and you just literally put like bronzer on your skin it does look very fresh and summery which I do like next is concealer so <laughs> this is going to be so strange okay so I'll put concealer here down my t-zone yeah pretty much down my t-zone so <laughs> some here I'm just literally covering up my highlight <laughs> and the products that I put on my nose and it's going over the top of powder oh this is so strange concealers applied I'm going in with the peach and cream PC15 just buffing that in oh it's very dry under my eyes from the powder and it's like I don't know if you can tell but it's a little bit hard to, to, harder to blend because the powder being there but I've got to say it's blended nicely on my forehead my nose looks very dry it doesn't help that I've got a lot of blemishes so it just doesn't look great but 
at the end I will zoom in and show you what it looks like up close. But next we're going to conceal the brows. So this isn't too bad because I have, I do sometimes conceal them beforehand but usually I'll do my brows then conceal. So I'm just going in with a flat brush. I think it's not too bad because I haven't put powder lot anywhere here so it might not be too bad to blend. I actually use the Urban Decay um, brush that comes in the palettes because it's got a flat brush and then a blending brush on the other end so I think it's perfect for like when you carve your eyebrows out. That was probably the easiest one just because it hasn't got, had to go on top of powder or anything. My eyebrows. By the way, this routine, as you can tell, is literally just what I do like every day. So I'm just doing my everyday makeup, but backwards. The brows are probably most the, the most normal thing to do. Oh no. I'd usually do um, gel, so I'd... Oh no. Right, I am doing it right, so this is... I'm doing my brows and then I'm going to put um, soap brows over the top because I'd usually fill them in after I've done the soap. Okay, so that's my brows filled in. And now we're going to do the soap brows after. We'll see if this takes off any of the product. I feel like I need to do it gently so it doesn't take the product off. Okay, I can I can see that it's taking some of the colour away. It's not so bad. I'm just gonna press the hairs down. Okay, that wasn't so bad. This is this is going. Oh, some of my uh, lip liners come off. This isn't going as bad as I thought. So next is foundation. So this is where you cover up all of your hard work that you've just done with your foundation. <laughs> oh no, I'm dreading the last bit. So this is probably the worst part. So I usually just pump a little bit on each area and then PC19 brush <gasps> oh god this is just so pointless and all of that blush, bronze and highlight is completely gone and it's messing up my lips because I have to go over it. Oh, I can't even put concealer on because I've already done it. Oh my god, it literally just looks like I've put foundation on and that's it. Ruined everything. Okay, <laughs> well, then the last, but by no means least, is primer. That's got to go over the top of my foundation. It's going to feel lovely. A MAC Strobe Cream <laughs> to really brighten my face up. Now do I use a brush? I'm trying to think if I would usually, if it was on a client, yes I would use a brush. I think I, I think I would use a brush with this. And I'm not just saying that to cheat, I, I think I would use a brush with the strobe cream. PC8, peach and cream brush. 
so I'm just gonna dot it around. This is horrible. And then I'll just oh, oh it's literally taking off all the foundation. So I would just pat this around to give myself a glowy base. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's also just ruining my brows, ruining my lips, ruining everything. So we've gathered that the foundation and primer ruins your life when you're doing this challenge. Yeah, that's the finished look. <laughs> Not the greatest. I'll just zoom in now and show you what my skin looks like up close. Oh, I haven't really blended it well there, but basically I just look very shiny. My lips are just non-existent, like it's a bit of lip liner left. But because I've done my makeup how I usually would and tapped it over there with concealer and all sorts of stuff, it's just completely taken that off. My mascara isn't too bad, my brows could be better, they've been messed about with the soap, <laughs> so, and then all of my bronzer, blush and highlight has just completely vanished, so I hope you enjoyed this video of me completely ruining my routine, as you can tell it's completely made me look like I've just got foundation and nothing else. Um, you could try this if you wanted, it's quite um, it's quite a different challenge. I just thought it would be a fun challenge to do. Um, I've seen a lot of people do it so yeah it's, I think it's quite entertaining to watch so yeah I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up because it does really help my channel and also subscribe if you're not already it's just the I don't know which side it is the button there it's free to subscribe we've got to do is make an account and it'd be great if you turned on the little bell by the subscribe button because that tells you when I upload a video and then you won't miss it so oh yeah I'd really appreciate you doing that but thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video Bye guys.